Before we get today's vlog started, the bike life video that I shot a few days ago, cousins or like family or, or maybe just regular brothers, four or five states on the left of Florida, which means be yourself, be original. Before we get today's vlog started, I gotta plug my guy in. I saw him on the way to get some B-roll footage today and he was killing it. Wavy.com, W-A-V-Y, K-I-C. Team State Fraud, Team State Fraud Pro. I got you, we out here. Hey, 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 it's your boy Toon. You guys are gonna have to forgive me. Cause I know yesterday I promised y'all an unboxing. I'm not gonna tell y'all what it is cause I don't wanna spoil it. You're gonna have to come back to the next vlog so you can see me unbox it and figure out what they gave me for free. For that free Amazon item that I got. But unfortunately, I've been so caught up in the edit of the bike life video that I shot a few days ago that I haven't even got around to doing the unboxing and rather than rushing the unboxing because it's already like four o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still capturing b-roll shots and and I'm about to do a tour I'm about to do a tour for the triple OG who used to live in Philadelphia PA now he lives in where you live at buddy I forgot no he moved to Texas or something right I don't know all I know is that he moved out and about and he's no longer in Philly but he was from the long crest section of Philly and he gave me his old address, 5900 Colgate Street in Northeast. So I'm about to visit that now, do a little quick 45 minute tour or so, so he can recollect and remember his neighborhood. He said he hasn't been here in 20 plus years or 18 years or so. So I'm about to get that tour. Um, and then after the tour, I gotta feed myself because like I said, it's four in the afternoon and I still haven't eaten guys, not a crumb, not anything. Um, so I'm hungry. I'm here with Jersey. What's up, Jersey? Say say what's up to the vloggers. Say what's up. Yo, you got eye boogies. Yo, you making me look bad. Say nah. <laughs> nah, but took her out so she can stretch with me and get some fresh air and all of that. But I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not going to have enough time to do the unboxing today. I could unbox it indoors and show you guys what it looked like and squeeze it into tomorrow's vlog. But rather than rushing and not doing a real thorough review, I would like to start that at the top of the day. So I'm aiming for tomorrow. I'm really aiming to do that unboxing tomorrow for sure, for sure, which is Sunday. So y'all should probably see it like Monday. Look forward to Monday seeing the unboxing and get a better look at what they gave me. Right, right, right. I got you guys on edge. Right, 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 right. <laughs> but um, aside from that, I figure I'll take advantage. I keep today's vlog short. You guys know why I keep certain vlogs short. Remember, I keep a vlog short because the next day I may have a uh, large workload and I'm not gonna have time to be sitting in all day editing and with daylight savings I think it starts tomorrow right yeah so they can turn the hours a clock they turn the hours a clock back they turn the clock an hour back or something right or an hour forward I don't know comment below and let me know how I'm supposed to change my time tomorrow but I know they changed the time and it's gonna get dark early it's gonna get dark like 4 30 5 o'clock in Philly which means I got shorter days and if I want to test the equipment outdoors, I better do it early. Hence why tomorrow I prefer to do the unboxing at the beginning of the day so I can go out and give you guys some test footage, let you know what I think about the product, take some, some pictures, and do all that good stuff. Now, enough of the unboxing. Make sure you come back to tomorrow for that. <laughs> but <sighs> I figured I'd take advantage and talk to you guys about the one-way twins yo i actually just saw one on my way over here like while i was driving i saw one out on the blizzard and i don't know what intrigued me most about these kids all right so first things first i didn't even know there was twins bro i didn't know there was twins i did a five minutes of fame with one way edwin and i remember one way Nell contacted me but like i thought there was cousins or like family or or maybe just regular brothers until one day i linked up with them in person and I looked at them and it was like, 
yeah, we brothers. And I'm like, yo, y'all look just like that. Yeah, we twins. I say, no, y'all not twins. Right? They say, yeah, 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 we twins. I'm like, yo, that's vicious. I thought it was dope that not only are they brothers and twins, but that they both ride and they're both equally nice. They're both sick. They're sharp on a bike, dog. I've been examining their footage. Low key, I've been examining their footage to see if I can learn a thing or two. <laughs> I need some tricks, dog. Help me, Edwin. Help me now. Because your boy, too, can't really willy. Say, no, I could willy, but I do basic willies as of now. Wait till next summer. Hint, <laughs> hint. Say, no, but enough psych nas. <sighs> but I was analyzing their footage, and those kids are really nasty. They're above and beyond sharp for their age. I think they're 15 or 16 or something like that. And what intrigued me most was that. They both ride. They're both in this Philadelphia bike squad called One Way. And I think it was sick seeing them next to each other pull moves. Like, they both got their own style in a way. Like, their own strengths. I don't know what their weaknesses are, but I know they both got strengths. Swerving and the one hand and the dancing and the footwork and the touching the ground. I've seen them do a lot. And the footage that I'm putting in this bike video for them isn't all of it. Just know, you know, I'm doing my best to make it do justice, but just like in any edit, you can't use all of the footage. So y'all not going to see all they have to offer, but just know that this video is going to be dope. Make note, Tune doesn't do bike life videos often. Imagine if I was doing them every day. Sheesh! Imagine if I was doing bike life videos every day, like I was doing the tours or the boxes every week and all of that. Listen, when I put my mind to something, I commit, but just know... When Toon does drop a bike video once, twice, three times a year, I don't know, it depends, right? Every once in a blue moon, when I do drop them, I'm going to make sure that they count. I'm going to make sure that they're worth it rather than putting them out in bulk and, and you know, excuse my French, but half-assing it. I'm going to do my best to, to make them be enjoyable for y'all. And I'm enjoying this edit. I'm enjoying the story that's being told. The most interesting thing about this story which is why I was looking forward to doing this project with the twins is that one of them is staying and one of them is leaving. And as adults, we know, or if some of our viewers are adults or if some of y'all youngsters watching, y'all young boys watching, I think it's crazy because when you're a twin, you guys share the same stomach. I don't think they comprehend that. Like, I'm sure, like, duh, like, they know they both came from the same mom. But I don't think they comprehend the fact that, like, they were together before they even knew they were together. Feel me? Like, they not only spent the womb, well, the womb. What's up with my speech today? My vocabulary is all over the place. They not only spent time in the womb together, but they also grew up together side by side, same age, every birthday, every Christmas, every holiday. For the most part, I'm sure they were together. And they're probably so used to being confused and being the same that they want to be different and they want to branch off to be their own separate young boys. But it's crazy because, like, I can't imagine being in either one's shoes. Like, damn, my bro. It's like, you don't got to look in the mirror. You got to look at your bro. Like, y'all look alike. I mean, they look slightly different. Nell looks slightly different. And Edwin got a little bit more facial hair. Edwin got more facial hair than your boy, too. Like, damn, E. <laughs> but, um... You know, just to be around someone all the time, every day, you look just like them, and then to boom, to move, one move to Louisiana, and yo, we thought Louisiana was in Florida. Why? Yo, Edwin, why we think Louisiana was in Florida? I Googled it, and Louisiana is like four or five states on the left of Florida, which means you're going to be really far, bro, bro. You're going to be really far, bro, and I, I, you know, I'm going to miss your presence. You know, I wasn't with you all dang time, but... You know, I'm going to miss a kid from, from Philly who did his damn thing for Philly and rep Philly, right? But I know Nell going to miss you, bro. And I know y'all both being a little tough, hard head right now. Like, yeah, man, we, yeah, man, we, it's it's cool. It's cool. I'm going to get nice. But like when two, three, four, five weeks sit in, you're going to be like, damn, man, where, where my bro at? <laughs> where my bro? And that's crazy, man. I wish y'all many blessings. I wish y'all mad luck, mad success. Edwin, I hope that that move brings you great opportunities in life now don't forget about your bro don't forget about your mom it must be weird for you though like your mom and your bro gonna be over there you gonna be here by yourself dog well not by yourself with your other family but like still dog now e my condolences my blessings mad love to y'all um keep up the work 
you know, Edwin, remember I told you, don't follow peer peer pressure. Be your own person when you're over there in your hood. And same thing with Nell over here. Be your own person, bro. Like you said, um, you're different. You're different, you know, and continue being different. Don't follow the crowd. Don't follow anybody. Um, be yourself. Be original. Uh, you are, even though y'all twins, you guys are each original in your own way. And keep it that way, man. I'm looking forward to when E come back. You know, maybe we do a little reunion, like a relink up. You know, I don't know how old or, or, or when you plan on coming back, dog. But mad love, bro. Mad love to the, to both brothers. And and I'm blessed to be a part of this project. I almost feel like it's historic. I feel like it's historic in a way. Like, are there any other Bike Life twins? Are there any other twin brothers or sisters in America or in the world that are twins and both nasty on the bike like these boys? Dog, this is crazy. Yo, do you see that number? Do you see that number? Do you see that number? Yo, I'm blown away. Can I hit a stack by the end of the year?